These cops are really like this in real life. That's the funny part. Almost there. Fuck you, pal. Pull over. They're pulling over. So we. Noise. Whoa, hey, stay in the car there, homeboy. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, fuck you too. You know how fast you were going? She had an O officer. I uh. Try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we are sitting there, so uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. Entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we got to make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint sized prick. You, you little shit. Get the fuck out of here. Go on. Well, shit. Hey, drive to the garage. Man, I'm sick of driving so slow, Steve. Yeah, I'm going with Franklin. <laughs> I'm raising back as Franklin. I can't deal with this lack of special ability. Hello? Hey, you that lady? The intense dude's assistant, right? Assistant? I need to tell Devin we got them cars. Mr. Weston will not discuss matters like this with you on the phone. I'll be your port of call for business concerns. Well, shit, me and your boss ain't gonna have any personal concerns. Bring the cars to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey. Really are. That's the funny part. Let's get that Kendrick Lamar. Oh, another Kendrick Lamar. We'll share it. Shit! Fuck me. These guys still can't catch up. What the fuck? How am I supposed to not like go swerving like crazy? Jeez. All right. Exactly like that. Oh man. Oh man. We're going super face. Yeah, GTA 5. I don't think I could finish it before 2015 starts. I'm going to try my hardest to. I'm going to be recording tons of this throughout this week. That happened. I fucked it up. All right. Yet. Shit. 
Shit. See, this is why I pick Franklin and always pick Franklin whenever I do this mission. Holy shit! What the fuck? Stop! Yo, no! What the fuck? I was gonna win! I was gonna win! I was gonna win! Ha ha! Fuck you, motherfucker! I go fuck yourself! Yeah, fuck you, pal! Oh shit! I just saw that. <laughs> Looked like I was gonna fucking wreck them. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh god, this is gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom. Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look. You finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now. Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Like, come on, man. Hold on. <laughs> Take a fucking oh, walk. Man? Well, it's the Z type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye bye gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. This upcoming mission with the helicopter is painful. I hate it so much. Just because it's a Trevor mission. Fuck! Anywho, we got it done. Hey! If we would have drove a little bit faster, we would have gotten it, but... That's pretty good. Pretty good, if I do say so myself. And we're in some random garage. You can see all the uh, types of cars we got to get. Um, we just got the Entity XF and the Cheetah, so let's cross that off, and cross that off. Um, alright, now we just gotta get the Z-Type, the JB700, and the Monroe, and we'll be done. Michael, I haven't heard from you, I'm trusting you keep finding mental health, phone session. Phone session, here, let's have a quick phone session. Hello, Dr. Isaiah Friedlander speaking. Hey, Doc, it's me. Michael, how are you? Not good, Doc. Not good at all. Well, we spent a lot of time over the years discussing how negative actions lead to negative thoughts as much as the reverse. Because of the compounding of your classical low self-esteem with your assorted sexual hang-ups, the desperate search for the easy answer in life, and your profound narcissism, reality will have a habit of handing you a repeated kicking. Anyway, what's up? Well, Doc, when you put it like that, I'm afraid I ain't got much hope. Have you been acting out again, Michael? I've been a mixed bag, Doc. What about the bad, Michael? Tell me. Okay, well, things are... I gotta tell you, Doc, they're off. I'm making bad decisions here. And other people are picking up the tab for it. My family left me, and they won't even take my phone calls, but... But I did meet this guy, Solomon Richards. You might have heard of him. Richards Majestic? <laughs> We're doing some work together. 
<laughs> in the movies. Do you fucking believe that? I'm a movie producer. Well, I'm glad to hear things are looking up. But you shouldn't look for validation outside of yourself. Validation isn't a label. It comes from within. Any other violent outburst, Michael? I've been out of control, Doc. I think I got, you know, an imbalance or something. You know, I mean, one minute I'm one person, and the next minute I'm another person. And you sometimes feel you're not responsible for your actions. It's all denial. Sure, we'll take his advice after we go off the sick jump! What about your sexual problems, Michael? I've been a really good I think I'm boy, great in bed. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. Ever since I pulled that fucking house off that fucking hill, my fucking life has been fucking fucked. You know, therapy can really help you, Michael, which is why you should be really pleased with what you're doing. But I'm gonna have to stop you there. Oh, and there is one thing. I've... But so fulfilling. Let's speak again soon. That just cost us fifteen hundred dollars out of nowhere. Atomic blimp services. How can I help you? Uh, I need a blimp. As soon I want to see if I can get the blimp. Of course, sir. I'll get one sent out to the nearest available drop-off point. Ah, that would be perfect. Thanks. Thank you for calling Atomic Blimp Services. Goodbye. Thank. Damn it! The blimps in Bufu, fucking Egypt. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching Grand Theft Auto 5. This has been an interesting session. We got a, we got our, hooked up with our com, uh, contact Solomon Richards. And next time we'll be playing as Franklin because he has a Devon mission. Why did I say David earlier? He has a Devon mission. So, thank you so much for watching. This has been Grand Theft Auto 5. My name is Bruce N. Peace. You say you want this money, nigga, then what's the hold up? If you really bought this paper, then what's, 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 what's the...